Hi, it's me again with Krill Doll Tips and Tricks. Little information if you're wanting to ever draw a basketball. This doesn't look very good, but it's probably the best one I could find. And I'm not going to do the Wilson or the, the name on it. Just the lines and try to duplicate the color. And you can see it's a bitmap because it's got a white bounty box. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to see how big it is. It's almost 14 inches. So I'm going to click off and change my nudge factor 14 inches. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. I'm going to trace that bitmap, outline trace, clip art. And I get that. And all the reason I'm getting that is for the shape. Now I'm going to grab that out of the way. And I'm going to put a rectangle around it. I've already changed my drawing tool for yellow for you. So you better see this. Now I'm going to take my smart fill tool. And I'm going to go ahead and fill it in with green. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to move that over. I am going to left click, right click. And I'm drawing in a too thick of a box right now or too thick of a pen. But I don't really care right now. I'm going to break the curve apart, take that away. I'm going to go ahead and hit F12 and get my pen tool and put it to a hairline. Now we got pretty close to the shape of the basketball and the exact size. I would clean it up a little bit with the shape tool if you have X7 or above. You know, make it like three inches because it's a pretty big circle. Just click on the item. And if you can't ever click, if there's nodes visible, then, then the shape tool is working. You just need to click on it. And then just go around it pretty fast. You know, get rid of those bad spots, which are really part of the ball, which in some case could maybe even help you. But that's pretty good. So now we got an outline of the basketball at least. And we let's make it a uh, yellow and put it over the, the real ball. You can see we have an outline around the ball. Now, here's really the reason I decided to make the video. Let me move that out of the way. I've got the bounding box, but to make it easier to trace these black lines, get the transparency tool and slide it up a little bit and just make that a faded item. So regardless of what color you're using and what pen thickness you're using, you can see it. I'm going to start off with a three-point pen tool, and I'm going to go from there to there, and then I'm going to shape it a little bit. And you can see I've already done the, so I'm just grabbing the three-point curve. Now, in this case, you might even want to hold down the control button. It's going to get you a perfect arch. Now, here's a little bit different. So we're going to go from there to there and make that arch. But we could connect right there and grab that side and make that arch. Now, to make it symmetrical, you could actually grab that one and flip it, you know, since it's one line. We could hit the plus key on the keyboard and mirror it. But whoop, a lot of times, you know, it's almost easier to just go ahead and see it's, it's going to be off because the ball's different shape. So let's just take the three-point curve line again and do the exact same thing. Go from about there to there. Try to get that curve. See, I really should not go that far. You're asking a lot. Go from about there to there. Get your curve. And then you could grab that node, maybe go into that node and get your curve. And then you could do the rest of the curve. And to me, it's just a little bit easier to be able to see the ball itself. Now, for a second, I'm going to nudge this out of the way. And I'm going to make all my pin black by right clicking. Now I'm going to make this right clicking. There's you a basketball. Now there's some on the outside, but that's pretty easily cleaned up. And the way I would do it right now, let's try this. Let's try nudging that back. Hit F12 on your keyboard and make all those a hairline. And then bring your ball back over. This might not help, but it might help a little bit. And then trim off these lines. And you can see my ball doesn't look very good. And then here we're actually short. So just take the shape tool. Try not to mess up your angle, but go to there. You know, we're not to there yet. So this might not even help. 
with what I was wanting to do to get those lines thicker. But we can see what's going to happen. So we can nudge those out of the way, grab all those, F12, uh, I can't remember what pointage I used. We're going to call that good. Bring that back. And there you have a basketball. And a lot of times these lines pass the line. If we make this line thicker, F12 in your keyboard, and make it that same thickness, you've got a pretty good looking basketball. I, you know, this is so fuzzy, I would still have to use my shape tool and get rid of some of these nodes. Or even maybe even start out with a perfect circle. You know, just get a whole circle. And you see that right there is a little bit funny looking. Just bring it in a little bit. So I'm going to play around with this some more. Try to figure out how to get that. Uh, boy, that looks bad. How to get the uh, color of the basketball to look a little realer. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.